nagtuto sa hudyat ng kasaysayan Dugoy inialay para sa bayan Banggit ni Magalo na sayang ang pinaglaban Rigtator ba ang kailangan? We're going back to the songs. Uh, sa diktador, uh, Obviously, a lot of people are relating it to the sitting president. But is it really about him? Or more of a reminder ba siya? Or ano, tungkol, uh, tungkol saan ba siya, sir? So, uh, before this version, nag-release ako ng... Nag-release ko actually yung Dictador, uh, another version of it na medyo mas hip-hop, noong 2016. So, yeah. Um, this is about him. <laughs> uh, and kind of... Anong tawag dito? Um, may, yung mga, may nagsasabi nga na parang uh, prophetic yung lyrics. Uh, pero, ano eh, we, parang I kind of knew uh, na ganito yung mangyayari. Um, based on mga reports, um, uh, particularly yung UN report noong 2007, uh, pumunta yung... Um, yung special rapper tour on extrajudicial killings dito si Philip Alston and uh, inimbestigahan niya yung mga noong time na yon time ni GMA uh, ano ba ilan dinocument rin ng former organization ko yung EJK at that time para 1000 na yata and tatanggal pa niya mga 10 years yun eh di ba yung um, almost yung two terms GMA. eh almost two terms uh And so kasama rin doon yung syempre yung mga findings sa Davao, uh, yung vigilante killing. So, uh, yun lang. Um, so, kind of new um, na syempre still hopeful na hindi mangyari. Uh, pero ano rin siya, parang babala, ganun. So, yeah. Uh, sir, let's talk about yung mga songs na nirelease doon sa album. Una yung Elias. Uh, which, which is obviously a tribute dun sa famed Nolly Meranghere character. Uh, pa- pa- paano niyo naisip na gawa ng tribute si El- Elias? At uh, bakit, bakit siya? I mean, not dahil hindi dapat siya, pero bakit siya yung naisip niyong bigyan ng tribute? So, yung, actually, yung Elias, long time coming na yan, uh, itong song na to. I had the The first line of the song yung salubungin mo ang bagong umagang iniwan. Pinangarap ni Elias na namahinga sa dalang pasigan. Um, I had that line for since 2004. Um, ganun katagal. Uh, and pag nagja-jamming kami, actually, pag, yun yung maawin kong freestyle, quote-unquote. Uh, na yun yung una kong uh, sinasabi uh, pag uh, nagja-jam kami. Pero never... Never natuloy, never ko siya nabuo itong yung kanta. I just had that line. At uh, na trigger siya kasi uh, from a campaign jingle actually noong 2004. Um na yung campaign jingle ni bagong umagang parating. Yun yung yun yung narinig ko sabay. Yung ako na trigger lang yung death ni Elias sa akin. Kasi ano siya eh, parang pagpapaalam na frustrated yet hopeful. Uh, sa, di ba, yung parang do not, do not forget about us yung that came before you ganun, ganun yung, ano eh so, namatay siya before sunrise uh, so and sobrang uh, enamored ako dun sa character ni Elias kasi siya nga yung dun sa lyrics nga, di ba pakinggan yung mga bara binitaw ng konsensya ni Ibarra kasi siya yung parang yung the ano eh the influence the good influence uh, uh, kay kay Ibarra na siya yung middle class na could effect change sa society um, so naisip ko lang na grabe yung nuggets of wisdom ng character na yon na sana mabalikan natin mga Pilipino um, in one of our you know sacred texts yung noli as Filipinos di ba So kan grabe yung, yung tragic tragedy ng buhay niya sir no kasi kaila parang di ba if i'm not mistaken yung tatay yung kanilolohan ni Ibarra ang nag-cause ng misfortune ng pamilya ni Elias di ba Yes wala yun sa kanta kasi yung hirap ko 
<laughs> ang hirap yung detalye. Ang dami pa, di ba? Yung kapatid niya na matay. Uh, or yung kapatid ng tatay niya. Basta sobra. May isang chapter sa so Noli detailing that whole, the whole tragic life of uh, Elias. Uh, pero tama, oh, yung, yung nag... Uh, yung nagpakulong dun sa lolo niya. Yung, uh, yung senior, yung lolo rin ni Ibarra. Um, pero gano'n, no? parang sinave pa rin niya si... Sinay pa rin na si Ibarra uh, kahit na may galit siya, di ba? Parang na, nauna yung yung welfare ng, ng bansa or ng, ng tao. Tsaka yung talaga yung, yung sabi ni Pochoy na you know, that was the most hopeful song na rin sa, sa, sa album. Kung napansin mo yung album, di ba? Parang the themes and everything were a little ano, um, heavier. Um, ito yung pinaka may parang I guess that what reflects what also reflected the the vibe of the instrumentation. Para it felt that the para may may hopefulness and may parang may parang yeah you know, light at the end of the tunnel kind of vibe. Yeah. Sir, yung yung messages ng mga kanta, uh, obviously dicta license, <laughs> progressive, and you know sometimes eh, unsha- uh, shameless uh, bashing of uh societal problems kan also referring to the president in this modern time na usong-uso ang red tagging hindi na napapaisip ba kayo sir kasi parang kahit sino na lang eh from celebrities na magsalita lang with a progressive organization na hindi pa nagpo-produce ng content na progressive ah na red tag uh kayo sir each one of you na sumasagi ba siya sa utak niyo or parang bahala na. Okay lang yan. Hmm. So, actually, yung mismong tweet content na yun, di ba? Sa ngayon. Content na yun eh. Screenshot, picture, content na yun. Tapos marami nang pwede yung pag-usapan. And yun, uh, totoo. Uh, grabe yung red tagging. Uh, hindi, ko to nakita, hindi ko to nakita eh. Sa, I mean, matanda na rin ako eh. Di ba? Dumaan na rin ako sa maraming residente. So, um, Sobrang aggressive lang ng uh, pag-label uh, at pag-shame. It's so easy to say, oh, di ba, communist, wala na. Uh, and to discredit, um, kahit na may, baka yung mga iba nagtatanong lang, di ba? And nasa constitution natin tayo, uh, the sovereignty resides in the people, di ba? They work for us. Um, so, but to answer your question, no, uh, nakaka- Walang, ginawa namin to na hindi namin masasabi na wala kaming takot. <laughs> mm. And, yeah, I approach these guys um, to, to make sure then, uh, uh, you know, they're on board. And, nakakilig kasi umokay naman sila. Uh, other, Sir Kelly, uh, o kasi Sir Boogie, may mga ganong fears ba na parang amaret tag tayo sa ganitong klase ng kanta. Yeah, definitely definitely I was scared, we were scared. But also medyo ano na rin ako eh. Well, me personally medyo feeling helpless na rin. I don't re- after, you know, from 2005 till now medyo medyo pessimistic na ako. I don't know what to do anymore. So for me personally, when Pochoy finally uh, finally approached me regarding the album, I took it as a chance for me to be able to do something. Ito na yung contribution ko. Kasi hindi ko na alam anong gagawin ko, honestly. Eh. Medyo give up na nga ako. Eh. So this is my way of hopefully affecting some sort of change. So yeah, contributing to this album. So yeah. Yeah, and to add to what everyone said, syempre parang, you know, when before nga the material nga, like what Portray said, he asked us, so putting your name into into something like this, and you know, it, it's, it's, ano, it's, it's scary, di ba? Ang daming, ang daming, we hear all the reports, and, and you know, we're aware. Um, but again, like with what Boogie said, you know, we have all different roles to play in, 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 in affecting change. And and you know and I guess part of it is maybe our our part is this band right? and the message we, we we try to put in right? and whatever we can do to kind of 
you know, and and it's a band that kind of stands for something, and 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 you know, and the and the and I guess it's all of our um, responsibility to try to get as many years to it, to it as possible, and try to really do it. Na, uh, we are um, standing up for something, talaga. So it's a challenge, pero we were hun- nung sabing game na game na, but but for sure I said game pare astas pwede kayo mag back out ah <laughs> sabi sabi namin hindi game and if you put your if you put your name there and you go for it 100% uh, definitely uh, sir Jorel curious din ako kasi you're in LA uh, technically uh, physically medyo malayo ka dun sa threat ng uh, ganitong klaseng atake sa mga ar- artists sa mga uh, progressive organizations or mga progressive movements Uh, did it cross your mind? Hindi. Nag, nag, nag-cross nung sa mind ko yun. Eh. Pilipino pa rin ako. Eh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, syempre, like, yung roots ko nasa, nasa Pilipinas pa rin. Kahit dito ako nakatira. And may pamilya ako. Meron ako mga, mga lahat ng kay, marami akong kaibigan na nasa, man, nasa, man, nasa Pilipinas pa rin. So, of course, nag-cross sa mind ko yan. Um, eh, for me, I believe in the message. And kung ito yung paraan na magiging compelling yung mga message na na mag-reach sa mga tao. Um, kung baga, kung, kung baga nga sa if you're going out to war in biblical times, yung mga musicians ang nasa harap. So, <laughs> so parang ganun yung, ganun yung isip ko sa kanya. Parang this is my contribution. Um, kung may, pwede, kung, pwede ako mag-facilitate ng ng art na mag-relay ng message of hope sa mga tao, then I'll do it, of course. Um, and first, and pangalawa, I'm doing it with my friends. Tsaka, I believe in the message, gusto ko yung music. And I'm excited about the project. So, of, yeah, kahit may fear ako, parang, I wanna do it too. Madalasan, hindi lahat ng tao kayang tanggapin yung ganong klaseng kanta. Uh, medyo na-off sila, nagsishy away. Pero, ang tingin kasi tingin ko kasi sobrang importante sir nung mensahe nung kanta nung mga nung buong album actually. So, ano yung pitch nyo sa mga tao to listen to the band? Uh, sige sir, starting from Sir Pochoy. Ah, ang, ang hirap eh na it's hard to para sort of pitch the sa akin, we just gusto ko lang maglabas ng material eh. Tapos bahala na kayo. Actually, even sa fanbase namin, meron, yung umpisa, may mga napapansin ako na hindi pabor sa mga sinasabi na amin. Actually, marami. Um, surprising nga na hindi ko sila masyado na <laughs> ngayon. Uh, but, wala. We, we just want to, to get this out yung our music what we want to say um, and leave it at that uh, kung gusto nilang pakinggan sana mapakinggan actually kahit yung mga hindi isang ayon uh, okay na rin sana mapakinggan sa at least mapakinggan para alam mo yun kilitiin lang yung yung utak and baka baka mag start ng conversation Actually, sir, sa, sa yung mga YouTube na, yung mga latest na kanta nyo na na-upload sa YouTube, like gigs, may mga nagko-comment, may nakikita ako before na parang uh, fan ako ng Dicta License until, un, until they parang naging political yung viewpoint nila. Parang, kailan ba hindi naging political yung <laughs> viewpoint? Parang yun ang nangyayari, some sort din sa Rage Against the Machine, di ba na okay sana yung may ganun, parang okay sana yung Rage kung hindi siya political. Pero yun nga, sir, uh, sir Boogie, ano, meron ba kayong uh, parang pitch? Or another question din na parang hindi ba kayo natatakot na in terms commercially, hindi baka hindi siya ganun ka laki yung, kumbaga yung kita, yung income, yung gen- magigenerate niya. Dahil hindi nga, hindi parang hindi lahat kayang sikmurain yung ganun klaseng ka-intense na mensahe. Paano ba tayo kikita? <laughs> Walang gigs ngayon pare so I don't know I don't know about the money but I, I don't think I didn't really do this for the money so kung meron bonus but we really 
our, uh, my reason naman talaga was to be able to contribute to the country to maybe to give people courage to speak up especially i think uh by releasing this album syempre you know yun nga sana makiliti yung utak ng mga ibang tao na who are, who's been thinking about this na to yeah think deeper about it and have some courage to ask questions speak about it and yeah yun sir kelly um you know i think yeah i mean one nagpapasalamat kami sa lahat ng fans who you know who stood by us i see it we see it naman sa facebook and sa social media all the people who you know um who continue to share our posts like our stuff listen to our music um yeah we want you know these are people who've been with us for the longest time chakita kita namin yun like from uh, from all these people who stay with us and of course you're right um the 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 more you make a stand sometimes the you know not everyone is going to be on that same page right um pero um we understood that naman and we're not at this point na hindi you know, naman I mean, sa, sa point namin, what's more important to put the album out, to put the, to the message and to, and, and to, um, and, and to, yeah, to do that more than, you know, the, the monetary aspect of this. I mean, um, but at the same time, you know, we're, we're thankful na rin, um, to people who still listen and we're thankful to all of you guys who, who want to talk about the product, want to talk about the album, want to talk about us. Thank you lahat ng, um, the media outlets, you know, I think it's important that um, the curiosity, I guess, also, and um, for music like this, and it's, it's, you know, it's, it's actually nakatabarang puso kasi all the outlets who kind of approached us are, have been with us ever since, and, and, the, peop- and, the, and the new people who come in and, 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 and are curious about what we're producing, um, thank you, and for the curiosity, and for the, and for the, attention you're putting to what we're trying to say then. So, yun. At sa totoo lang, wala rin naman talagang kita sa dikta. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> to begin with. So, ayun. 